The third Sunday of Advent used to be called Godete, meaning be joyful, rejoice. Advent is no longer celebrated as a penitential period, but rather as a reflective time of joyful expectation and hope. John the Baptist and his disciples in today's Gospel are so excited to know if Jesus is the long-awaited Messiah. Are you the one who is to come or should we look for another? John's question is also the great why. If this Jesus is really the good news of God, then why is there still so much suffering and pain, evil and destruction or hurt and brokenness among God's people and creation? The answers lie in our imagination and vision. What do we expect to see in this Messiah? And what will we make of Him? Here's the key. If we are to receive this Jesus as God's Messiah for us, then it will be a call to hear and see our present situations in new ways. Our expectation and our hopes need reshaping. It will also need to be shaped by what is happening here and now among us. Where do we see the creative power of God at work amid the suffering of this world? Where do the blind, the lame, the sick, the poor have good news brought to them? Have we ever asked, where do we find ourselves to be instruments of God's creative power? Jesus' message to disciples and for us as well is, be not only hearers, but doers. As people of Advent, we know God desires each person to experience physical and spiritual wholeness. We have a joyful message of hope for God's people, hope for those who suffer from illnesses, hope for those who are orphaned and widowed, hope for those who struggle with living holy lives, sexually, physically, or emotionally. Hope for those who struggle with loneliness, depression, arrogance, or overcommitment. Let us pray then that as we joyfully expect the coming of the Savior, we will become doers and not just hearers of the word, so that we will truly experience what the Advent expectation is all about in its promise to transform our expectation, vision, and hope.